dear students and my dear viewers welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about the exposure of kidney from behind now in this session we are going to discuss about one of the important clinical anatomical aspect of the kidney that is renal angle and its clinical importance this renal angle is also called as costo vertebral angle and this angle is present between the lower border of the 12th rib and to the lateral border of the erector spinae muscles and this angle lie on the top of the lower parts of the kidney that is lower poles of the kidneys or within this renal angle and also a small amount of pleura which extends into the renal angle and if you see the clinical importance of this renal angle tenderness in the kidney is elicited on this angle so what do you mean by tenderness tenderness is a pain or discomfort when this affected area is touched okay this tenderness of the key of this angle is due to any kidney pathology how this tenderness is elicited this tenderness is elicited by a test called renal angle test or costo vertebral angle tenderness test and this test is also called as murphy sponge test why it is called as murphy sponge test means john benjamin murphy he is an um, american surgeon who done this test first time in 1884 so this test is given as murphy's punch test and this test is performed by the examiner striking the fist of one hand against the dorsal surface of the other hand which is placed flat over the region inside the renal angle on the patient in sitting position or in prone position this is the way how to test this tenderness if tenderness is present then it indicates the kidney pathology and this test is positive so you can see some examples where this uh, test is positive okay so some of the kidney diseases or kidney pathology now we can see here this one is the pyelonephritis so pyelonephritis is one of the commonest uh, uh, kidney pathology which is caused due to the bacterial inf infection okay here the name indicates itis inflammation of the kidney due to bacteria mainly e coli sometimes staphylococcus also and it is due to specific type of urinary tract infection normally it begins with the urethra and uh, it transmits to bladder and then ureter and then to the kidney any infection in the blood stream also leads to pyelonephritis which causes some accumulation uh, inside the uh, a renal um, parenchyma okay if you see the shape of the kidney also changed here normally it is bean shaped here we can't find such a kind of shape something is happened to the structure of this kidney okay because of this accumulation of pus uh, inside the uh, renal parenchyma leads to some sort of pain and this pain is elicited in this test okay and next condition is the perinephric abscess so it is also uh, the collection of separate material or uh, pus we can call it that occurs due to bacterial infection in the perinephric fat and fascia so we have already uh, learned about this uh, structure in the uh, structure of the kidney in the previous videos okay so here the abscess is present in the perinephric fat 
okay this perinephric fat is present in between the renal capsule and the renal fascia normally this renal fascia is called as gerotus fascia and this abscess leads to the necrosis or cell death in that space okay so normally such kind of abscess is uh, result from the complication of pyelonephritis okay so in these two conditions pyelonephritis and perinephric abscess also the renal angle test is positive in the case of renal calculi which is also called as nephrolithiasis the stones which are formed here you can see the stones which are formed inside the kidney are called as renal calculi and these are hard objects that is made from chemicals in the urine usually they are um, calcium oxalate uric acid cysteine phosphate xanthin etc okay this leads to obstruction of the flow of the urine and which causes some backup of urine inside the kidney so which leads to some sort of pain okay that pain is elicited pain or discomfort is elicited um, in that uh, renal angle okay another condition is called as renal artery occlusion it is the complete blockage of blood flow through one or both of the renal arteries main renal arteries and its branches so this occlusion is mainly due to any thrombus or emboli or any atherosclerosis etc so in this condition also you can um, uh, elicit um, this renal angle test positive you can also elicit this test positive a other than the kidney pathology those are erythrocecal appendicitis so as we all know that the position of appendix is in different directions so this one is called as um, retrocecal so this retrocecal appendicitis causes inflammation in the retroperitoneum so because of this inflammation in the retroperitoneum causes the renal angle test positive okay and also another condition called as retroperitoneal abscess so here you can see this one is the peritoneum and behind this one is called as retroperitoneal organs and we'll have many different uh, retroperitoneal spaces behind this peritoneum so the abscess uh, is accumulated in the retroperitoneal spaces leads to retroperitoneal abscess this is very uncommon type it may result from a variety of causes especially any inflammation of the organs present in the retroperitoneum causes this retroperitoneal abscess and uh, another cause is sickle cell disease is another uh, cause of uh, renal angle test positive so these are all about the Uh, renal angle and its clinical importance in the next session we are going to discuss about another um, clinical anatomical aspects of the kidney like congenital anomalies of the kidney uh, like um, polycystic kidney okay and also uh, renal calculi in specific chronic renal failure etc thank you